first key capability, the InfoBlox Network Automation Platform is doing a rich, detailed discovery of your Layer 2 and 3 network devices, and more importantly, the network constructs. You'll see all this rich, detailed information under the Network Insight tab. And with the network discovery, we automatically go out and discover all the different devices across your network from a multi-vendor perspective. As of today, over four dozen vendors are supported out of the box, from routers, firewalls, switches, wind optimization, the traditional Layer 2 and Layer 3 network devices. The first thing the platform does is discover all the different devices connected to your network, and the Discovery tab gives you a high-level overview of exactly what is happening with the different devices. You can go out and see, for example, if it's an existing device or if it's a new device, if it's fingerprinted, if I could reach it, if my SNMP or CLI credentials do work, if I collected my SNMP and configuration information, and also if I group the different devices. One of the great capabilities of the platform is to have device groups. The device groups gives you the ability to slice and dice or view the information in different characteristics or different aspects. For example, most organizations will group devices by geography, application type, vendor, model, different compliance requirements, and we'll show you several examples throughout today's demo of how you can see different views based on the different device groups. In addition, one of the great things about the discovery view is if a new network device comes on board, whether it's planned or unplanned, the automation platform will automatically discover it if it connects to other devices across your network, and will bring all of the information into your platform, into your database to make sure you have the most accurate current information. While the Discovery View gives you a high-level overview of the different devices connected to your network, I can look at my Inventory tab and get much more detail on my devices themselves. For example, I have my Device View, my Infrastructure Devices. I can see different devices connected to my infrastructure from a Layer 2, Layer 3 perspective. In addition, I can look at physical or virtual devices. I can drill down into my interfaces. I can look at my OS versions to see what versions of OS I'm running or what model types I'm running. During this demo, I'm not going to click through each and every tab to show you exactly how everything works at a detailed level. I want to give a high-level flavor of exactly what the platform can do. But again, for the inventory capabilities, this makes sure your network devices are already discovered and you know what they look like. In addition to the inventory view, I can get much more detail looking at my summary views. And this typically gives you my network constructs. What I mean by network constructs is how the network is actually connected, the different devices, how they actually interrelate from a network perspective. So now I can look at things like my routes, my subnets, my VLANs, my HSRP or VRRP redundant routing peers across my network, my different ports, as well as managing the Infoblox NIOS grid appliances. We can do all of that from a network infrastructure point of view. And again, you can drill down to any one of these in much more detail to get my understanding of how my network is constructed. One of the great capabilities of the Infoblox Network Automation Platform is taking all this rich detailed data and making it more usable. By looking at our topology view, what it does now is takes that Layer 2, Layer 3 network data and construct data and helps you visualize it through a network map. So now I see a rich up-to-the-minute view of all my different devices across my network, and I'm looking at my entire network. As I mentioned before, with my device groups, I can drill down in more detail and pick, for example, my different routing capabilities, and I'll go to a smaller subset. And again, I can pick any one of these different device groups that really helps me manage my network more effectively, and I can pick and choose to make the information more digestible. I can also look at my refined views, which gives me capabilities of looking at different aspects, such as device groups, VLANs, issues, changes, policies across my network, and I can select any different characteristics and add some color-coded overlays. So, for example, if I want to check issues, I can apply my issues. It'll go out and look across my network, and it'll come back with a color-coded view to show me which devices have specific issue or violations. And I can drill down into any one of these in much more detail, just hover over it very quickly. I can see the different devices, not only the devices, but also look at my network constructs and how the devices are connected. I can also do a right mouse click and see things like device viewer configuration. I can drill down to a lot more detail, and I'll show you more of these examples throughout today's demonstration. I can also not only look at an aggregate view across my network, I can look at my Layer 2 hops, my Layer 3 hops, my most likely PaaS, my VLANs. And again, this really helps you drill down as your network becomes more complex and more dynamic. For example, if I want to look at a Layer 2, Layer 3 most likely path, I can just select an individual device, 
do a simple click, and it's going to go out and show me my most likely path between these different devices. It'll automatically populate for you, and it'll highlight this and show it across your infrastructure. So now I can see, for example, what devices will be along the way. And then finally, on discovery point of view, I can go to my switch port management tab. This looks at the switch ports as well as the end host connected. So the first thing we'll do is look at the devices view. I can see my different devices across my infrastructure. I can see my total ports, my free ports, as well as available ports. Available ports is a very powerful capability brought to you by Infoblox where you set a customizable threshold. You know, for most organizations, it's very easy to determine if a port is being used or if it's free. But what happens is, when is it available? If it's free, does it mean I can reclaim it? And typically, most organizations want to set a certain parameter, such as it only reclaim it if it hasn't been used in 14 days, 30 days, 3 months, 6 months, a year. And you can define that. And the platform will automatically go across your infrastructure as long as it hasn't been used for that parameter. So if it hasn't been used in this example for 14 days, it will be defined as available. In addition, I can look at my interfaces as well as my end hosts. So if I want to go down and see exactly what end hosts are connected to my devices, I can see that as well by simply clicking on end host presence, and I can see all the different devices connected to my physical switch ports. Also, one of the great capabilities about Infoblox is our action tabs. You have the ability to do things very quickly, very easily, very effective. I can go back and show my end host history over time, my interface history, my device history. Very powerful for troubleshooting or compliance. If I want to see if an end host is moved between different ports, I can see that. In addition, I can also do a lot of different basic tasks very quickly. I can set an admin state up or down. So if I want to turn a port up or down, I can do this very quickly with my up down parameter and I can save it. Or I can do the exact same thing with an edit description or edit VLAN membership. So if I click on edit description, that's my capability here. If I want to change it to test.1, I can do that and save it. And it'll go out and create the job for me very quickly, very easily, all from that same interface, very simply. I'll close it out now. I don't want to actually make the change. I just want to show how quickly it could be done across your infrastructure. And again, all this rich detailed information is done under the Network Insight tab. So it gives you an overview of the discovery, what is connected, the network constructs with the ability to drill down into different parameters. As I move forward, I'll give you some of the other key capabilities of the Infoblox network automation platform, including change configuration management, security policy management, compliance, as well as managing those challenging ACLs and rules across your infrastructure.